remember what Johnny Fabulous says. It's good to be great, but it's great to be fabulous, and it's fabulous to be in your head. Uh, just to bring up real quick, actually, we saw you last year at the NWA Fan Fest in Charlotte, and um, you went up and you uh, thanked uh, Sir Oliver Humperdinck for uh, smarting you up to the business. Like, um, what was that like? What was like the story there? Are you, are you talking to me? Yeah, it was. Uh, you went up to Sir Oliver Humperdinck and you like shook his I hand. Mean, and you thanked him. Well, because for you, you got to remember, like I'm talking about Florida Championship Wrestling, bro. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was I was working for Vern Gagne in the AWA. And they were giving me a big shove, and they wanted me to be their champion. They were going to give me the strap. And I went, you know what? Like, no thanks. I said, you know what? I said, this is your hometown. First of all, anybody who's ever lived in Minnesota, that part of the country in the winter, and I moved from Florida up there, right. it, it gets crazy cold. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is crazy cold up there. I remember going to Vern going, look, man, this is your hometown. It ain't my, I said, I can make two grand a week selling suntan looks on the beach. I said, this is, no. He went, he, I remember him going, I can make you a star. <laughs> I went, I don't have to be on TV to feel good about myself, bro. I like who I am. I said, you know, and I said, Vern, it's all about the money to me. I said, I'm about the money. He goes, the money comes later. I said, yeah, but my bills come every month right on time. <laughs> and, and then what? once I started talking to him like a man, like he was cool about it, but just, yeah, honking them guys. You know, all I ever wanted to be, was I wanted to be over in my hometown. I wanted to be able to get laid in Florida. I wanted to be over. I wanted to be Dusty Rhodes, except like on Royce. <laughs> I, I just wanted. I just wanted to be like you know Magnum T, you know Magnum PI on fucking Royce and be able to get laid in the state of Florida because it's my hometown. And so then, so they offered me a top babyface spot in Florida. With Lex, Lex Luger left Florida to go to Charlotte. That opened up the spot here for babyface. They come. And called me when I was in Minneapolis, and I was miserable there. Mike called me, offered me a gu- and guaranteed money back in the day when nobody got guaranteed money. They offered me a grand a week. Brother, back in the mid-'80s, a grand a week was sweet-ass money. Plus, Florida's, Florida's flat. All Everything, you know, like the highways, we have big cities here that you can get to quickly on a highway. It ain't like Tennessee and Charlotte with all these mountainous hills. Let's say, well, 200 miles, yeah, 200 miles of, like, mountains. It takes four hours. Down here, 200 miles is a highway flat, like, boom. And I had a, back then, I had a Corvette, and I'm young and single and love to mingle. I mean, I'm just I'm just digging it. And Hump, and guys like Kevin, like guys like Kevin Sullivan, Kev, I love you, were smarting me up, man. Humperdinck, Humperdinck's always been top heel manager. You know, you got Kevin Sullivan spinning been a heel his whole career. And these cats, and I'm coming in as a baby face and a big baby face. You know, I'm jacked up. I'm about 6'6", six, six, about 280. And these guys are teaching me how to get over. And I'm too green to really grasp everything. Now when I look back, see, the thing that was so cool is I crossed paths with Sullivan way back then. Then I went on, you know, my, I went on to do the Razor gimmick and all that. Now I come in to WCW. We're doing this NWO gimmick. And Kevin Sullivan is booking WCW. And he's still a heel. And Kevin Sullivan believes in heels over. So he bring now you bring me in, you bring Nash in, you bring Hulk in, and we're heels. And Kevin Sullivan has us, has us beating everybody's brains out. And we spray painted everybody in the company. We beat you up and we spray painted you. You know, you had an NW on your back. We don't care who you are. And that's that's the way Sullivan does business. And and it worked because our, our raised was through the roof and we sold out every building for like five years. Mm-hmm. So thank you to Kevin Sullivan. Thank you to Hump. Last time I saw Hump was down in Key West. I was on vacation down there, and he was in this in this T-shirt shop. So I snuck up behind him like, wait, so I said, man, you can't, I can't believe some some farm boy got behind you, man. Like I waist blocked him like an amateur, like some kind of amateur wrestler, you know. But, I mean, Humpy, I hope you're out there. I hope you're doing good. And, and Kevin Sullivan, I love you. And uh, thank you for everything you did for me. Cool. Yeah, we just uh, met them both uh, a couple weeks ago in uh, Charlotte. Both yeah. look pretty good. They're, they're the bomb. I mean, that's 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 the shit, man. Because you got to remember too, I grew up watching these guys, uh-huh. so to be able to do business with them, it's like it's like I don't even have to get paid, and they're paying me. Like I'm 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 working with dudes that I'm mark I'm a mark for, and like and they're smarting me up. They're going, no, Scott, this, no, Scott, that. You know, what I mean, someone once I jumped in my face said, no, you do not make a comeback like that. That's how regular people make comebacks. You want to be a top guy, you got to make a top guy comeback. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, the Dalton smart me up, and I never forgot that conversation. I don't know if he remembers it, but I know I do. Yeah. Now, uh, just a little while you're talking about the NWO, and now in your mind, like when you guys were doing the NWO, did you play them as heels, or were you just playing them as you know, uh-huh. something completely different? Well, see, the way I looked at it, bro, was like, the way I viewed the NWO was we were just supposed to be separate. Because the way I viewed it was, because we were told early on by, by powers that be that we were going to have our own TV show. Me and Kev were supposed to have an hour of the Saturday show that was going to be, that we got to direct. And we were going to be separate. So the fans would choose, man, do you like WWE? Instead of, or, or like, do you like WCW? You like NWO? Mm-hmm. We're trying to split the audience that way. Like Vince has done his whole split the brand thing with SmackDown and, and Raw. We were doing that way before him and trying to do it like that way. Instead of going, you like WCW, you like WWE. The idea was to make it separate. Mm-hmm. And, guess, and guess what? Me and Kev were big baby faces when we left Vince. And so for us to come to that TV and not be baby faces, who cares? So what I realized, too, is like, I'll never forget Jerry Blackwell, crusher Jerry Blackwell, back in the day told me, he said, kid, if you wonder where our business is going, he said, look at the Japanese. He said, they're ahead of us in everything. So if you've ever watched any Japanese wrestling, you know, there is no heel, there is no baby face. You do your stuff, I do my stuff, then we do the finish. It's like, I'm going to go out there and act like Scott Hall, you go out there and act like Stan Hansen, and then we do the finish. Just, just get over. Everybody gets over. Everybody's a baby face. It doesn't matter. Just do your stuff. Make it good. And... So we, I mean, the thing is, though, if me and Kev went out, we were baby faces. When we went out with Hulk, they booed us because they said, you're sucking up the Hulk and you're a stooges. Now, when Kid went out by himself, he got booed. When Hulk out went, went out by himself, he got booed. But basically, yeah, me and Kev were like the baby faces of the NWO. But at the same time, if when we're out there in the ring all together and Sting drops from the ceiling or comes up through the ring or whatever he does, and we start bouncing around for him, they cheer. So my question is, like, who cares? He'll play face. That stuff's outdated. It's like, are you a star? Then we're going to match you up against another star, and we're going to make entertainment. We're going to make exciting television segments. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's where I think our business is going. Everybody's all, this is this whole your heel, your baby face thing. That's outdated, man, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And what do I know? Do you think that uh, it would have worked, like, if NWO was, like, its own separate show? Yes, I really do. Yeah, we still. If if there hadn't been so much waste, if there hadn't been so much waste of money, and so many people telling pulling everything in different directions, I think then I think we'd still be on the air, and then the bureau would have its own show. And, and by now, we'd be so stone cold baby face. But I mean, who cares, Hello? right? Mm-hmm. Hello. 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 Ma. Yes. Yes. Who is this? Let me take that, Ma. You guys are too much with people just sleeping in. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, 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 NWO ruled the world, and I'm responsible for all the success and none of the failure. Uh, I can embarrass this guy. He's actually calling in, and that was his mom picked up the phone. Oh, I won't wow. bring that up on air. Did you get, did you get permission? <laughs> hey, Jack. Did you get permission yeah. to be mom? <laughs> hey, mom. His mom probably digs me. He's probably the right age you range. But hey, mom. I, so, I, I have to say, actually, my uh, you're my mom's favorite wrestler. That's a yeah, shame. Well, that. What town? Where, where are you from again? Cape Cod? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 33. Because oh, I'm thinking, it wasn't that long ago I swung through there. What do you look like, man? You got black hair and shit? <laughs> yeah, I'm about 5'5". Five, five, so. <laughs> well, that's because that's cause, like the Connor books. Only half went in. <laughs> So if you're like five five, it's just the rest of it drips down your mom's thigh. I don't like where this is going. What's on your mind? I'm only I'm only serious. I'm only serious. <laughs> oh, What's on, that makes it better. What's on my mind? Well, I get to speak to a true, didn't true you legend that? here. You, you uh, made all your money. If this is true, I might be uh, I'll have to look into this. But I what are you saying? I got something coming. Come on down to Florida and try to collect. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. John. I can hear a lady's voice like barely. Yeah, yeah, that was his mom, but now we got John on the line. 